Hello, my name is Mary Millard. Scott Dean invited me to share a little bit about how St. Francis in the Woods sustains me, and I'm really happy to do this. I came to St. Francis in 1978 when Don and I moved into the area. Now, Don was baptized at St. Francis, and so we were really delighted to be able to join a faith community that he and his family had been a part of for a long time. St. Francis became one of the main places where my faith is nourished and sustained. When I think of how St. Francis sustains me, I reflect on my experience of the place. The church is not only a beautiful building, it is a space that has been filled with prayers full of love and caring. When I walk into the space, particularly the sanctuary, I can feel the quiet holiness that I am invited to settle into. I'm reminded to open to spirit, to heal, sustain, and guide me in my daily life through all my joys and sorrows. The energy, the spirit that is alive in our church sustains and heals me. Now this energy spirit that is alive at St. Francis is also very much alive in the community, in each one of us. And I really feel that. And this sustains me. We worship together, have fun together, learn together, and struggle together, each leaning on our faith in God as we make room for all to do what is theirs to do as best as we can. Like Jacob wrestling with the angel, we are transformed by our struggling together. I have seen and felt a deepening of spirituality at St. Francis, and I trust it will continue to grow. Being in a community that is centered on God's love leading the way, struggling and growing together, and each of us having room to find what is ours to do, sustains and heals me. My prayer is for us to continue to support St. Francis in the wood so that our church, our community, continues to thrive for years to come.